Hi, this is Simon from HomeKit News, and this week we're looking at the Soma Smart Shades 2, an update to the original model with a faster motor and a couple of extra modes. Keep watching to see what we can expect from this new device. So first to the unboxing of the first of two boxes and as the name on the box states this is version 2 of the product. The slogan also says it all essentially so this can automate your window shades and will fit your existing roller shades so there's no need to replace what you already have. The side of the box hints that this can open and close with sunrise and sunset which we'll go into a bit later and the back just gives you a bit of spec relating to the motor itself which amongst other things tells you that this is a Bluetooth device and has a built-in lithium battery. The first thing we see upon opening the box is the motor itself which is rather unassuming and I guess that's fine for something that's doing its job in the background essentially. The rear of the motor has some double sided tape and the bottom has a quarter inch jack socket for charging or recharging the battery. On the top are two holes for the roller blinds chain to pass through and the cog that feeds the chain is hidden behind a removable cover. You can even fix the motor to the wall more permanently with some provided screws that fit into the holes on the lower part of the motor. So that's the main piece of equipment to get your blinds smart, but Soma do include a few other things to help the transition from dumb to smart blinds. The first of these is a replacement beaded blind chain, which I decided to use myself, and a USB to quarter inch jack cable to charge the battery via a USB power supply. Now you can see here that the jack plugs straight into the hole at the bottom of the motor. Onto the last piece of the package and it's a solar panel that is also used to power or charge the battery. Now this is designed to be placed on the inside of the window that your blinds cover. Uh, as with the USB to jack cable, the cable attached to the solar panel has a quarter inch jack at one end to plug into the motor. Now if you don't want any smart connectivity besides the motor in your smartphone, this is all you're going to need. But in order for you to get this exposed to HomeKit, Amazon and Google, you'll need the Soma Connect which we'll look at next. On the front of the box it does state that this will help you control your smart shades via Amazon A and Apple HomeKit, although it can also work with Google Assistant even though it's not listed. Now the Connect is basically a Raspberry Pi in a box, hence the logo on the back. And as such it should be pointed out that Apple HomeKit support is not officially certified for either the motor or the Connect box, which is why this box is needed as a way into HomeKit. Putting that to one side, let's have a look at the contents for this second box. Now everything you need to get this connected to your network is included, which includes the Connect bridge. And as you can see here, the Connect has a variety of ports, many of which you won't actually need for basic functionality. There's a basic USB to micro USB cable to power the Connect, along with both UK and EU adapters. The actual USB power supply is the Type A non-polarized plug, so you would plug the cable into the power supply, then plug that into one of the provided adapters. Although any suitable USB power supply for your region will be fine. The final thing is the brief instruction manual to help you get the Connect paired to your network and all the relevant smart home systems. Let's now have a closer look at the Smart Shades 2 motor. Now the device itself is similar in size to a smart plug at 58mm wide, 75mm high and 45mm deep and with the protective cover removed you can see the cog connected to the motor that controls the movement of the beaded chains. On the back you've got the adhesive strips and I can tell you now they're pretty strong. Onto the Connect and the device has an Ethernet port along with four USB ports. The Connect comes in a reasonably small white box that's only 90mm wide, 70mm deep and 25mm high. There's a small slot which houses a provided SD card containing the relevant software and the rear of the box has a micro USB port, an audio jack and an HDMI port. Here you can see I've fixed the motor to the wall which is lined up with the beaded chain that came with the motor. Now although I don't need to keep the motor constantly powered due to the battery, I can keep the battery powered at all times with the solar panel if I wish. The solar panel sticks to the window with powerful double sided tape, so make sure you get the position right. If you prefer not to use the solar panel for whatever reason, you can simply use the other provided cable which plugs into any suitable USB plug. Now as before, you don't need to keep this constantly plugged in, so you only need it for recharging the battery occasionally.
To set up the smart blinds, first download the Smart Shades app and follow the on-screen instructions. These include initially pairing the device to your phone, setting up the motor and attaching the chain before beginning the calibration process. Once calibrated within the app, in order to get the blinds exposed to HomeKit, you'll need to set up the Soma Connect bridge. As with the Smart Shades motor, it's all initially done via your phone, but in this case, the Soma Connect will be using your Wi Fi network details so that it can be added to HomeKit. Once you've connected it to your network, you simply add it like any other HomeKit device, although in this case, you should select Don't Have a Code or Can't Scan so that it can pick up the Soma Connect. Once you add the eight digit code, you'll be told it's an uncertified device, but you can add it anyway. And once the Connect is in HomeKit, your Smart Blinds motor will also appear in the Home app as it's a device being fed through the Connect. So as you can see here, the Soma blinds are now in my home app as normal, like any other set of blinds. So with everything all connected up, I can now test these Soma Smart Shades too. Now although I'm just using the mic from my camera to record the audio, which isn't massively representative of the volume, you'll notice that it's louder when it opens to when it closes, but I think this may be common amongst blinds in general due to more power being required to lift than lower the blinds. In terms of speed, I've not actually tried the original model of the Soma Smart Shades, but these blinds do close reasonably fast, with Soma claiming a fourfold increase in speed. Compared to other smart blinds that I've tested, namely by Turnsey, the Soma model is only marginally slower and only then when opening. Now the window that these blinds has to cover in my case is quite long, so if you have a normal sized window that may be around half the height, any difference between opening and closing will be a lot less of course. When it comes to extras and additional functionality within the Smart Shades app, you can of course adjust the upper and lower limits of the blinds, you can check the battery levels for the motor and you can even group blinds together if you have more than one of them. In terms of automations, you can use a few different triggers to open or close the blinds and these can be triggered at certain times of the day or days of the week as well as be triggered by sunrise and sunset times. The solar panel has a built-in light sensor so the blinds can be opened or closed based on the amount of light it reads and with these automations you can even set the amount by which the blinds open or close via these triggers. Now the Soma Smart Shades app also has a morning mode which opens the shades slowly and at a much lower volume which I'll demonstrate next. So as you can see here the blinds are open at the moment and if I press the blinds to close they'll start to close and if I press the tile again it should stop and go in the opposite direction but in this case it doesn't. So if you go into the settings for the blinds you can see that it doesn't show that the blinds are closed at all even though it partially has. So the only way in the app to get the blinds to fully open is to drag the slider slightly lower than the blinds already are and I'm setting it at 57% here then moving the slider all the way in the opposite direction again. Now you can ask Siri to open or close the blinds in this situation and it will work, but Soma have said they're working on a fix for this to make it more compliant like a normal set of blinds would do. Now I'm actually quite impressed with these given that I'd heard a few less than glowing reviews about the original model. Now that's not to say these are perfect, but the minor issue I just previously mentioned isn't really a problem for me and as long as the company follows through with the update I'm happy. So in terms of pros, you can use the existing blinds which is a big plus. There's no need for a nearby power outlet due to the built-in battery. 
The included solar panel charger is great for the more eco-friendly amongst us and it's quite fast at opening and closing. Now in terms of cons, I can't ignore the fact that it's not officially HomeKit compatible so the added expense of the Connect does add cost to the package. When in opening mode the motor does have a louder whiny noise compared to when closing but it's not as actually as bad as you might think. The firmware update I installed for the Kinect itself was a lot more complicated to achieve than other firmware updates so I do hope Soma can make that a lot easier in future. And finally regarding the issue with the blinds not acting the way they should in the home app, it's not a big deal and if they fix it down the line then that'll be great. So that about wraps up the overview for these blinds. So. If you want to see a more detailed review of this product, head over to homekitnews.com and you can find out more there. Thanks again, see you soon.